All right, welcome back, everybody. So much excitement in studio, and you know, congratulations again to Shadonna Douglas, who has won the grand prize. Uh, really excited for her. Um, you know, she is on her way to Miami Carnival very soon, and in fine style, business class. Thank you to Caribbean Airlines for their sponsorship as well. Now, speaking about jumping across, we're going to jump across to a sister island, and we're going to speak with some people in Tobago about World Rabies Day, which is on the 28th of September. With me this morning is Dr. Paul Crooks, veterinarian, Tobago Animal Hospital, and uh, we're going to find out what it's all about. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for joining us this morning. No now, problem the, at all. The rabies disease, um, you know, it is one that can affect, um, well, people know it would affect canines and such, um, and but it also affects humans as well. So let's speak about um, the rabies itself. What would you define rabies as? Right, well, rabies is a viral disease spread in the saliva from affected animal to a host. And it affects mostly mammalian uh, species, but also there are some avian species that appear to be affected by it. So nearly every mammal can be affected. And carnivores are very important like dogs uh, in the US, raccoons and so on are omnivores, and they do bite people or other mammals and spread the disease. And what are some of the effects uh, to animals, mammals specifically, uh, as pertains to that disease? All right, so rabies is known to cause neurological signs, which are signs meaning the nervous system is affected. Usually you see signs like change in behavior, or in the case of movies like Cujo, Stephen King's movie, um, there was an, a, dog, a dog that was very aggressive, and you saw a lot of saliva coming from the mouth. Right. So that's the typical rabies picture. Hypersalivation and aggressive or excitable behavior. Now, it's not quite like the movies, right. but the animals tend to be very responsive to stimuli. So they tend to snap and, and bark more, they're much more active and aware. Yeah. And if you approach these animals, they are more likely to suddenly just bite you. Really? So that's where the signs of rabies typically um, are displayed in right. popular media. Yes, However, you know, uh, that's what I was thinking. Of... Sorry? Yeah, sorry, you could go on, sorry. Yeah, however, there are other ways that rabies may be displayed. For example, in humans, it's often that they are going to refuse water. And the reason is you have a difficulty in swallowing because you have spasms in the throat. I see. So people, when they get to the point where they can't really talk or they're getting to a stupid state where they're less responsive, if you approach them with water, they might slap the water away just because of how negative the sensation is with the throat. Mm -hmm. So they have to be maintained on fluids. So that, that is one effect. And um, how else does it affect human beings? Um, so rabies is known to basically kill everybody who gets sick. That's, so that's a major thing. Um, it has a 99%, I guess, mortality rate. Wow. So if you're bitten by a dog or a raccoon and you get rabies, you may start getting signs of the disease about uh, within a week or sometimes several months. Right. The so period between the bite and your signs of disease is the period in which you may be treated and you can be given post-exposure vaccine. If you are treated at that time, you can be cured. However, um, if you get sick, if you start to show signs of sickness, for the most part, that's it. Really? Um, so death is an extremely important sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would certainly be. So um, there isn't, there's as yet no surefire cure if um, once you get to that point where uh, the signs are seen. No, unfortunately, no. And we do have rabies here in Trinidad and Tobago. Now, I didn't really bring it up before because of the 
a typical picture of rabies in the aggressive carnivore. But in Trinidad and Tobago, we have what's called the dumb form of rabies. Right. So it's spread by the vampire bats, which we mostly have in the south and the southeast regions. And the bats uh, spread the, the ribus, the rabies virus, by biting cattle, horses, and sheep and goats sometimes. But the dumb form uh, shows up as animals that become, I guess, slower. Right. Uh, it might be hard to tell as a, uh, and a casual observer, but basically, because cattle and they are already very slow. Yeah. But basically, you're going to see salivation, you're going to see them hanging their heads, uh, maybe having difficulty moving around, walking around in a drunk, a drunken way. So this is what you see in sheep, goats, cattle. And because uh, vampire bats don't regularly bite humans, it's very uncommon that rabies virus cause infection in humans, that so the vampire bats cause That's good infection news, at humans. least. Uh, and before we close off, what Good does news. what was what does the um, what does the veterinary association or, or society do in Tobago when it comes to World Rabies Day? Well, we try to promote uh, information about rabies by writing articles, uh, posting things on our website, Facebook, to let people know about rabies. In Tobago, we don't have it at all. We don't have the vampire bat. But we do know that animals that are being moved from this, con from this island to another, or even this country to another, must be vaccinated for rabies. And of course, as vets, we always have to know what rabies looks like. Right. Um, people might bring rabies in and so on. So we always keep up with the continual education. All right. Well, Dr. Uh, Paul Crooks, I want to thank you for joining us this morning and giving us this information on Will Rabies Day and the rabies itself and um, how crucial it could be because, um, as you were saying, when the signs show is a quite likely um, an incurable state. So um, thank you for sharing that information with us. And we, we do hope you get the information out there to those who would um, need to know more about rabies. All right.